Hey guys, what's up? It's IR Mr. Sir, and I'm back. I know I haven't been making videos for a long time. Um, that's due to school and the hard classes. So let's go ahead and look at today's tutorial. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys some cool color correction techniques that you can use uh, with the built-in stuff from After Effects CS5. Um, so let's take a look at our stock footage first. Um, you can see this is from videocopilot.net, a great place for learning After Effects. Um, this is where I first learned how to do a lot of the stuff uh, that I know how to do now. Um, so I just pulled in some footage of this guy looking around in a black room uh, and it to me it's kind of grainy so you can see up here that the there's like blue edges around them uh, it's sort of grainy it's not very clear so um, here's what it looked like when I finished color correcting it with a uh, color finesse that came with my After Effects package and so it, it gives it a clearer look um, as you can see his face it has better coloring it's not as unsaturated as it was so if I turn it off you can see that it's like not normal looking and here it gives you a better clearer look at it makes it look like it's truly HD footage um, I added a blue tint to it just to make it look sort of coolish uh, so I'm gonna show you how I did that so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this here so first I imported my footage into a new composition obviously now I went to effect synthetic aperture color finesse 3 and Pretty much, here's your simple controls, but what I did was um, pretty much I messed with the curves over here. It's pretty much the same as the curves that you get from the regular After Effects. This one, you just get to do some more stuff with it. So this one, I just added a quick contrast to it, so I brought down the blacks some, and then brought up the highlights a little bit. Uh, not too much then I started working with these so red I brought down some because I noticed it looked a little bit saturated like oversaturated I brought up the blue a little bit to bring in the darkness and brought up some green and to counter that I brought up the red just a little bit more just like that so it gives them a normal looking face so it has normal colors it looks more realistic uh, compared to this so as you can see there um, these I'll get to once I open up the full interface so you can come up here it'll say color for Nest 3 full interface and then it'll load up the actual interface and here normally you'll see it like this in the beginning uh, this is what it'll look like so for me I always like to look at the split source so you can see the difference between the two here's the pre pre corrected and here's post corrected and so over here you have all of your histograms and curves and you can see the different uh, parameters that you have set um, I like to go into gallery sometimes and look for the different presets that you can use um, like bleach bypass that's good for like uh, if you've ever seen Terminator Salvation, it's the th the color correction theme through that is pretty much a bleach bypass. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start tweaking these a little bit. This controls our master uh, controls over here. So I can move this up and down like I brighten up the gamma a little bit. It brings a little more brightness to it. Just so it doesn't look as dark just bring it up a little bit right there and here let's reset this here I want to bring up highlights so just bring up the gamma on the highlights 
looks a little better. Um, I want to go into my curves mode and you can see here that all this stuff is from what I had in my After Effects curves over here. And so all these corresponded from what I did in After Effects so that transfers over. And then I have my levels input and output. I'm not going to mess with those right now. You even have secondary and what this allows you to do is it allows you to choose a certain color or piece of the footage that you want to correct so it changes just that color and not any other color but I'm not going to be doing that right now uh, cue offsets there it is okay so you have your color wheels or offset wheels whatever you want to call them um, here you can start tweaking it a little bit more sort of like curves but gives you another aspect to it so you can start changing the color of the shadows and stuff here and it also affects your curves once you go into there so that's pretty cool and then change the midtones here a little bit I want to give it sort of a bluish color bluish purplish color and then the highlights I'm going to change back to here over here and that way it makes it look a little bit better the tones a little bluer right there so now um, I gave them the bluish tint that I wanted uh, and there you can see that it has been color corrected compared to this and if I move this you can see the difference between the areas that were color correct and that weren't um, so you can pretty much really tell the obvious difference that happened between these two and so once you're done correcting in here you just click OK and then it'll bring you back to After Effects and it'll automatically update your effects and so you can uh, see here that it updated my midtones and everything here um, left everything the same and if I go back into my full interface I can actually save it as a preset and then if I turn this off here you can see the difference completely it looks way better it's a lot more clear than it was in this one and that bluish tint gave it a little more cool looking color instead of just that bland color and so that was my tutorial on basic color correction in After Effects um, any requests that might come up I'll be happy to try and figure out or do a tutorial on whatever you guys ask um, just leave a comment on my channel subscribe and thanks for watching IR Mr. Sir out